movement in virtual reality is hard. It's been promised to us by VR treadmills, but they're just not doing what they're supposed to do. They're awkward to walk on, they're intrusive, and they're just really not fun. I wasn't excited to walk or run before VR, and I'm a little more excited to walk now that I can in VR, but once the first person marathon Skyrim in one shot, I think the novelty's gonna wear off and I'm just gonna wanna have fun. I'm gonna wanna be able to do things like duck, I wanna dive, I wanna jump, I wanna be able to spin, I wanna be able to flip, I wanna be able to swim or dance with someone or really like, I wanna be able to do anything I can do in the real world. And when you're in VR, you're effectively blind, so you can't do some of these crazy things because you're worried that you're going to get hurt um, or you're gonna run into something. And this system, this system stops that from happening. And it allows people who are older with like joint issues, with disabilities to have more fun in VR too. It's essentially just an adult baby bouncer. And there's not a baby that doesn't love their bouncer. What Weightless VR does is make VR fun because it's just fun to be in, in general. about the system. So um, this takes up no floor space. Uh, we move our dining room table over there um, in order to use it. So, and then you can just unhook it and it, it's gone. So it doesn't take up floor space permanently. Um, but we just have this adjust, adjustable strap. Uh, the system will come with two of these um, in case you need them. In case you're connecting to two points or one, it's gonna be user choice. It's super easy. All you do is you hold the little button here and you adjust it to your height and then hold all your weight. So um, you can go all the way up. I actually don't need it here because my ceiling's um, lower. I just add a couple carabiners and do that, but this is just for higher ceilings. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna show you getting into the harness. This is our prototype harness. So um, the final product is going to have um, a really nice dense foam the company sent me uh, in all the pressure strapped areas anywhere that's gonna put a lot of pressure on your body. Um, so I just have one more leg to do and then I'm completely hooked up. Which is just really easy. And that's it, and you can tighten as you wish just by pulling. And um, if you're, my, my actually, uh, my 11 year old daughter fits into this harness perfectly. Uh, we just tighten it for her and she can play with it, but we have a children's comfort harness, which is just 10 times better for them. 
Um, but this pulls tight or loose for women just to make it like comfortable, more comfortable for them. Uh, I'm going to pull it tight. And uh, the first thing you do, you're going to have three straps. Um, if you're a heavier person, you're going to have two of these on each side, these big ones. They're the 100 pound bungees. Um, first thing you're going to do is just stand forward. This is the safety, the safety leash for you, so you don't smack your face. Uh, some people are going to want that freedom and they won't have the safety on, which is fine uh, when you're a little more expert. And um, I'm strong enough to yank these down and hook them up to the D-rings. Uh, usually you would have assistance maybe if it's a VR arcade or something. Someone would do it for you. And then I'm like bunged in. Like a lot of pit in the room if you want to do stuff. Um, and if you're, if you're going prone, you actually don't even need your hands. Uh, you can just kind of kick up. Okay, so the mounting system for this VR unit that I have set up is this two foot two by 12. And I have these rings in here that go through the support beams, the ceiling support beams. Um, these go up four inches and I, cr I drilled a hole first and cranked those in there. And then this was just for some testers, but the, the uh, final product will be uh, a plate that's over two foot. It might have a connection here for the pro model that we're working on designing that allows 360 flips and front flips and back flips. So this, I'm currently in the pro model. Um, I use two extension bands instead of one, or I use one instead of two just because I'm like 170 pounds, so I don't really need too much resistance. Um, I can't really do a front flip or back flip. But this allows you to do like any kind of front flip, back flip, the same stuff the other one has, and you can spin 360. Um, this is geared more towards like arcades, but this one's really just like an adult baby belter. So you can do whatever you want in VR, pretty good. Um, but all the same functionality. You can hang face down if you want. And it's releasing, you know, a lot of the pressure off of your joints. Here, here's our pro model. Um, this is the prototype. The, the final product is going to be um, a steel. It's going to be a, a steel ring on a pivoting um, bearing, so it won't hang as far from the ground. So you'll actually be able to use this up onto a 10 foot ceiling or higher. Um, to upgrade this, um, if you buy the base version, you'll just be able to upgrade by buying just the upgrade part of the the pro version. Um, so you'll have everything you need from the base version. And this will come with two more bearings and then the ring thing that will hook to the top.